everyone and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie and today we are taking a look at Agretzico Work Rage Balance. Agretzico is a trick-taking card game from Renegade Game Studios. It plays three to six players, takes about 30 minutes to play for ages 10 and up. In Agretzico, players are dealt a hand of 13 cards and they are attempting to get rid of all of the cards which represent work in their work day. If you are the first player to get rid of all of your cards, then you win the round with zero points. Other players will score points based on the card left in their hand. And after several rounds or days, at the end of the work week, we'll see who has managed to complete most more of their work throughout the work week. And they have the lowest score and will be determined the winner. How do you get rid of the cards in your hand? Well, in this trick taking game, you will be playing cards based on their colors, suits, and numbers in either in different combinations. So like other trick taking games, you can play single, doubles, triples, four of a kind, straight, flushes, so on and so forth with a couple of unique plays that you can do in a Gretsuko. But the first player will start out by choosing one of those types of cards playing them and then the next player will have to try to beat that particular set of cards. So if someone played a doubles, let's say two, next player will have to play a pair that is higher than two and so on and so forth. If a player cannot beat that play or chooses not to, then they can choose to pass for that play. And they can also, in a Gretzico, a little unique twist, is they could turn over their token if they'd like, place it on one of the cards that's been played in that play, and at the end of that play, they'll be able to take that card into their hand. Maybe it adds a little bit of uh, ability to adjust your hand so that your hand is not just totally uh, based on the random drawing of cards. Through the course of the play, you have to play that certain type of set of cards, except for there is one trump set, which is the rainbow bomb. So this is a straight of only four cards, but each card has to be a different color and they have to be a straight. So they have to be consecutive numbers. After all other players have passed, the remaining player will win the trick or play and will be the starting player for the next play. And then after a player has emptied out their hand, they have successfully won the round and scoring zero points while the rest of the players will score points and it'll be based on the number of cards left in their hand as well as the total number of cards left in their hand as a multiplier uh, for even more points. After five rounds, the player with the lowest score wins. They have successfully uh, completed all of their work within the actual workday and didn't have to rage or work overtime as much. A Gretzico Work Rage Balance is based on the Netflix show uh, Gretzico, which is a super cute anime with characters from the Sanrio universe. I enjoy that show very much and I think other players who enjoy the show will be curious and interested in this game. If you're gonna bother stapling stuff together, at least staple it all at a 45 degree angle! So is it accessible to those players? Yes, I think so. Anyone who's interested in the theme and or trick taking games will find a lot to love in Agretsuko. So the trick taking aspects of it is it's very similar to other trick taking games for the most part, which makes it really easy to learn and accessible to players who are already familiar with those types of games. And there's a few sort of cool twists that I think do add a lot to the game. First of all, the token, it adds, it's sort of a push your luck 
mechanic that it adds to the game and that you you could just regularly pass you could always do that that's fine but if there is a card you need for a certain play that you want to make then you can use the rage which fits in with the theme of Agretsuko to take on more work another card and hopefully maybe build that rainbow bomb or that straight that will hopefully let you actually get rid of even more cards than without it. So there's a cool sort of strategic choice that you can make there with the token. In addition, the rainbow bomb, I hadn't seen anything quite like that. It's kind of nice because and a lot of times in trick taking games, I'm always like, oh, if only I had one more card, then I'd have a straight, right? Um, and actually here, if the colors are all different, then you can play them as that rainbow bomb when you only have four in a row instead of five. And the only negative to that I'd say is that's really the only place where the colors matter. I love the colors in the game. I think they did a good job of choosing those. It matches the theme really well, but I do wish that they were used for more, maybe a hierarchy of colors. Like let's say someone plays a pair of twos and the next player has a pair of twos in their hand. Well, you have to beat it with threes or higher because there's no hierarchy of the colors in this or suits in this trick taking game. That's one thing that was a little bit, um, I think they could add to make it an even more enjoyable experience, <clears throat> especially for players who are familiar with trick taking games and hierarchy of suits. Another thing I'll mention is the first player. So you choose the first player, whoever last had to work overtime, which is kind of a random uh, fun way to choose the first player. But in this game, which is a trick taking game, very strategic, I think it would be better served if it was based on players' hands. So uh, like a lot of other trick taking games, whoever has the lowest value card in the game will be able to go first. That's because playing first is very powerful. You get to set what kind of card hands that are going to be played in that play. Another unique aspect is the highest value cards, 11, 12, 13, actually don't have a color, don't have a suit, and can't be played as part of those straights and um, other types of sets in the, in the game. Instead, you'll have to play them as either maybe pairs, but most likely single cards, and there's fewer of them. The art is taken directly from the show, and each card is represented by one of the characters from the show, and they are so cute, and I'm glad that they did it that way. So there's fun characters like Haida and Fenico you'll recognize from the show. The quality of the cards is um, fine. I think it's a decent quality. It is a card game where we'll be bending, shuffling, and moving the cards a lot, so that is really important. Overall, Agretsuko is a really accessible trick-taking game that I think a lot of players will be interested in trying out because of the theme or the trick-taking aspect. It's really accessible and easy to learn, so I think you'll have a lot of fun giving this as a gift to someone who's interested in the show or anime in general or bringing it out for players maybe you want to introduce to some strategic card games. If you'd like to pick up a Gretsuko Work Rage Balance, it is available on the Renegade Game Studios website for pre-order, and we'll have that link down in the description below. You can check that out, pick it up if you'd like. And thank you so much for watching the review. Please give a like if you found this, you know, interesting and useful and informative and all of that. And of course, subscribe to the Unfiltered Gamer YouTube channel. We have tons of videos, especially reviews, but also uh, playthroughs and live streams. So we're doing our live stream every Sunday evening, 6.30 PST. And I'd love to see you there live. You can come say hi as we talk about games and play games. In addition, check out unfilteredgamer.com for more reviews, including written and blog reviews, if that is up your alley. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for the review of Agretsuko. It is super cute, and I can't wait to share more about that and other games. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Let's go!